Hey everyone, my name is Claudia from creativelyclaudia.com. I am so excited because today I will be showing you how to start memory keeping using a digital journal. If you've never used a digital journal or planner before, no worries because I will show you exactly how you can use one to start saving those special moments in your life forever. So let's get started. This Collect Happy Moments digital journal is hyperlinked, which makes it super easy to navigate throughout your journal. The first tab you will see is the index tab. So the index is basically your journals that you can create here. Like you can see here, I have my family photo session. Um, I've started this little journal for my family pictures, as you can see here. And then once I go back to my index, you can see here that there are different sections with blank pages. So this is where you will customize your very own digital journals. So now we can go back to the index. You can see there's 12 sections here for you to customize 12 different journals, depending on whatever special occasion or whatever special moments you want to save. These are all hyperlinked, which makes it super easy to navigate throughout your digital memory journal. And this is my template section. So I have several different templates here. The colorful, neutral, travel, love, miscellaneous, and frames templates. So I'm going to click on each of these so you can take a look. So this is my colorful templates. As you can see here, these are ready for use. Um, you don't really have to customize these too much unless you want to, of course. And next is my neutrals. So these are probably my favorite. I really like neutrals, even though I really like colorful, but I really do like neutrals too. Um, so these are the neutrals. Then we have the travel section. So this is really fun for when you take family vacations or trips, things like that. Um, these would be perfect to use for those special photos. Next is the love section and this is really cute for adding your photos of anything that you love either your special someone or your children um, next is your miscellaneous so this is just miscellaneous I didn't really fit into a category but I really like the way these look you can add them to any journal and make it super special and next is my frames so the frame section is basically just a layout for photos so this is especially useful when you have a lot of photos to add and then next is my pages so just like you would have like certain different paper for your scrapbooks this is basically what this is it gives you a different background for any type of look you're going for for those special moments um, you can obviously customize this any way you'd like and they're all hyper Link, so you can go straight to that page when you click on it so next are my stickers and this is my labels section and I made sure to include a neutral section for each one of these sections um, if you were going for that look then they are in there these are the tapes clips and pins I forgot to show you guys the neutrals but there are neutrals in here as well and then here are the frames these are perfect for when you want to add your photos to your pages when you're customizing those and then here are the paper scraps which I love to use to add special notes to each one of my layouts and then here are the quotes of course like I mentioned it brings your neutrals as well and then next we have the miscellaneous stickers so these stickers are really just to add more creativity to your pages I'm going to go back to my index and I'm going to start a new journal. So I will just go and write in whatever title I want to write for my journal. And I'm going to make this one my boys. I'm going to make it specifically for my two little boys that I have. And I'm going to choose my font and I'm going to choose Creative with Claudia font. So this is a free font you can get over on my website if you want. It's a pretty minimalistic font font and then I'm going to adjust the sizing right here and you could change the color as well if you'd like I want to keep mine black so then I will just double tap and I will start writing my boys here and you can see that my handwriting turns into the font that I want it to be so from here I will just resize it to what I want it to look like and then once it's perfect I will move it around so that it fits right where I want it to go and then there you have it and then I just want to draw like a little heart so I just clicked on my little pen tool and then I'm gonna change the color here and I'm gonna pick this blue I'm just gonna draw this heart really quick and 
then I'll be all done with this. So I want to show you something really quick and what I want to tell you is that you want to make sure that when you're creating your journals you do not use the page after. So you don't want to use this because that'll take you to the next section and you want to make sure that you're adding the pages instead of using the page after. So let me show you an example. So here I'm just going to write the word hi really quick. So I'm going to write this and I will show you what I mean. So if you would have gone to the next page and written hi for some reason or just added a photo um, and you just kept going to the next page. So you can see here that you see the word hi when you go to the next page. But when you go back to your index and go to the third section, you see that the word hi is right there. So if you would have kept going there and you would have kept using the next page, you would be using the next section. So what you want to make sure you do is you add the page instead. So I'm just going to delete this really quick and I will show you how to add a page as we keep moving forward. So let me show you how I'm going to start my journal. So I'm going to go to my templates and I'm going to go to neutral. So from here, I'm probably just going to fast forward this section so you don't have to watch exactly every step that I take to do this because it might be boring. But I'm going to pick one of these templates and I think this one looks good. So I'm just going to copy the page and then I'm going to head over back to the section. So here I will add the little plus sign, make sure it's on after and then paste page. So here I have added the page after the previous page so I'm not gonna go mess up my next section so what I do here is I just add photos and I crop the photos to how I want I was showing you this to make sure that you do not click on that little resizing thing because it'll mess up your photo so instead you use the crop tool and you can just crop your photo right into the layout so from here I'm just gonna go to my sticker section make sure to turn editing mode off so your hyperlinks work so I'm going to choose one of these stickers so I can customize my journal. So I like one of these quotes and I want to keep it neutral. So I'm going to stick to my neutral stickers. So from here, I'm just going to turn on my editing mode, click on the graphics or the photo function, and then click on the sticker and click copy. Now, this is if you use GoodNotes specifically. If you do not use GoodNotes, I have provided a different file for you to use and you can insert your stickers by inserting the PNG files I've included for your stickers. Um, this is specifically for GoodNotes and you can use these stickers really quickly and easily um, by copying and pasting using the GoodNotes file. So from here, I'm just adding in my sticker so I can customize it just how I want to. I'm going to add a little label so I can add a little note. Again, I'm just clicking on my photo and then I'm just going to go back to my journal and paste it right in. And so here it's really easy. I just put it wherever I'd like and then I want to type something in. So what I'm going to use is my pen tool um i was thinking of using my text tool but i think i want to go for a more personalized look here so i'm just gonna write love you forever and there we have it so now i'm just gonna finish adding more photos here and as you can see here i'm re-showing you the process to just crop it super simple it's really quick all you have to do is kind of just eyeball it and your photo will fit right in and there you have it and this is really special because you can really add as many photos as you want you can add more stickers to add more photos to each of the templates if that's what you wanted to do you can really customize this to however you'd like and it's really fun when you start collaborating with people and they start adding photos as well because it makes it really special to be able to do that together um, and then I just go back and add more stickers. I love adding stickers. I love the stickers section, as you can probably already tell. Um, but it's really fun and easy to customize this to whatever you'd like. So I just keep adding stickers here. And I will fast forward so that you don't have to be watching every single little step and get bored. So from here, I'm going to add a new page.
page so I just went to my pages section and then again I am going to paste the page after the previous page so from here I will just go to um, my frame section and I will click on the frame I want to add so then here I just click on paste if you had the other file you would just put in your PNG file and you can crop out your stickers that way and then I will just click on my photos and choose the photo I want to use for each one of these and of course I had already used this one so I'm gonna use a different one I really love these photos I love how they turned out and I love how special this is to create so here I'm just adding more stickers to customize it and writing some notes in the stickers and it's really easy to do this using the text tool you can change the font to however you want it to look like make it more personalized with your own handwriting however you want to do this and a neat trick is that you can actually use the lasso tool to lasso your text and then click on color and change your color this way um, so if you decide to change your mind you want a different color for your text like I did here um, I can just lasso it and change the color that way it's super simple and easy to do and you've customized your very own page so what I had mentioned before about collaborating I really think this is a neat feature for GoodNotes so if you use GoodNotes I'm gonna show you how to do this really quick you just want to go to your little share button up here you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna turn on share link to collaborate and then you're just gonna wait once you click on it you're gonna wait for it to upload the document and depending on how big your document is this might take a while um, and as you can see here it said failed to share document but simply I just clicked it again and it worked the second time so if that happens to you just try again and then from here you're just gonna click on send link to send the link to whoever you'd like like to send it to okay now I'm gonna show you how to download your very own digital memory book so you're gonna go to creativelyclaudia.com from here you're gonna go to shop and then you're gonna go to digital journals so you're gonna see that it's right here and you can purchase your very own collect happy moments digital memory keeping journal and then it's super simple to upload to good notes and I will show you that step by step so after you've purchased it you will see this message and you can click on the download now button right here or you can also go to your email and you will receive an email once you purchase with your download link as you can see here I'm covering it up with my pencil but there's a link right under which will take you to this page you just want to click on download now and then click download once more and you will see a little arrow up here that shows your download status so once that is done downloading you will want to click on it and then you will see here that it's ready and then you just want to click on it I have two because I've done this twice but you will only have one so from here you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna go to open in good notes and then once you click on that it'll open right up in good notes as you can see here and then if you don't have any documents open you won't get this message you can just import it um, but I had one open so um, you can find your files in your files app so you can see right here it's called collect happy moments um, you will just click on the zip file and it'll open up a folder just like that one as you can see here it's opening up a folder and you will see three different files in here the PNG stickers which belong to the file that's right next to it if you do not have good notes if you do have good notes you will want to click on this zip file right here and that'll open up and it'll help you use your stickers a lot easier so depending on which one you have you will open that up based on your app and that is all for this tutorial you guys i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you try out the digital memory journal it's a really fun way to be able to share your special moments with those you love and just to create even more special memories and keep them forever in a digital way mm -hmm.